Why were you crying? I don't know. The song Say So just like makes me really emotional. It reminds me of a better time in my life when I almost lost my job, when I had a crazy roommate, when I almost got evicted. Those were the days. Hi, I'm feeling a little bit unhinged. This is not normally like me to be filming a video the day before I upload a video. Yes, it is. That's entirely like me. If you didn't know, I literally film so often the day before because there's just a lot that goes on in my mind. I'm doing my nails while I'm talking to you. If you don't like this sound, I, I can't help you. If I'm being completely straight up honest, my boyfriend oftentimes tells me that I'm not the same on camera as I am in real life. And I like to agree, you know what I mean? Like sometimes I'm giving like advice. Like I don't go around giving advice all the time. Yes, I do because I'm a Virgo, but I used to do this thing when I had a Snapchat back in the day. I don't have a Snapchat anymore because satanic it's satanic i used to like post rants on there all the time and i would tell all these like little stories and then like make it a big deal and people like loved my snapchat stories people are probably watching this video right now who used to watch my snapchat stories and being like no nobody liked your snapchat stories nicole but i like to think that people like my snapchat stories sometimes it's like foam foam forms in my mouth but it's not it's not like rabies it's just it's just like foam it's like spit it's just like frothed spit in my mouth because i've just been talking a lot <laughs> And you know what? I do agree. I do agree that I'm not the same on here as I am on, you know, in my real life when I'm talking to people or sometimes even on like my Instagram stories because I feel like, oh no, I have to be professional on YouTube. I have to be like this perfect person and the video has to have structure and needs to be aesthetic and it needs to be coherent and nobody wants to hear you ranting. That's why I made a YouTube channel. So that's why I'm unhinged today. I'm doing my nails today. I think I'm going to do this like nice little baby pink color that I do every single time because I'm a freak and I only like nude colors colors on my nails so that it matches all my outfits but I wear the same outfit all the time I've worn the shirt every single week for the last like 30 weeks so I went on a little rant today on my Instagram story I don't mean to seem negative I don't mean to seem negative I really really don't but Jesus Christ do I hate influencers right now am I considered an influencer be honest be honest because I don't like to be considered an influencer I hate it I call myself a content creator whenever I can which sounds so pretentious. Anyway, I just don't like to use the word influencer because it has a negative connotation to it. Uh, a lot of influencers are crappy people. And that is just a fact. Cough, cough, hype house, cough, cough, sway house, cough, cough, all these houses on TikTok. So why do I want to punch every single influencer in the face right now? <laughs> well, I was watching a little YouTube video earlier today and it got me, I hate using this word, I hate using it, triggered. It got me triggered. Did I hallucinate the whole pandemic? Did I hallucinate everything that has happened in the last five months? Like, I cannot believe I'm sitting here and I, I, I have definitely hallucinated it because nobody gives a shit about the pandemic anymore. Like, literally everyone thinks that it's fake. Oh, it's over? Oh my God, I didn't know it was over. Oh my God, thank God. I didn't know. You know what? You know how... People are going out, people are traveling, people are hanging out in groups, and then all of them in the comments are either deleting their comments or are defending themselves to no end. Oh my god, if you have to explain in your comments or reply to your audience and be like, well, we followed all the CDC guidelines, we wore masks, we saw it six feet apart, we were blah, 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 blah. No, you weren't. No, you weren't. No, you weren't. Literally, your mask is down. Literally, you're not wearing a mask. Literally, you're all hanging out. You're all touching. You're all touching so close. Your faces are touching. Do you know the last time I touched a face? It's been a really long time since I touched a face. I am having the saliva again. It's frothed again. Ugh! Ah! I have been in this room, in this fucking room for the last five months. Five months, all the time. Literally go back into my videos. Go back into my videos. Has there been, literally my last Google search is what does on rogue mean? Because I didn't know what I meant. Is there a video out there of me not in my bedroom? I don't think so. I literally don't think so. No, no. Literally the only videos that are of me that are not in my bedroom are when I moved into my college apartment and then I said, oopsie, I made a mistake. And then I moved out of my apartment because I was like, this is the right decision. And now I'm struggling to find a sublet or someone who wants to take the apartment. Meaning I am paying hundreds of dollars every single month because I can't be there and I lost my entire senior year because of people like you people like you that's the reason why I can't live in my apartment and if you're feeling butt hurt right now or if you're feeling like this is personal it's because it is personal I go to Temple University in case you are curious there are already seven confirmed cases school has not opened up yet it is Saturday it is Saturday class to start on Monday Literally everyone moved into the dorms. How are you keeping people separated? How are you keeping people separated? I think George Washington University, I could be completely wrong. It could be another university. And there was a university that sent out a pamphlet and they were like, here's how to safely have sex during COVID. Please don't have sex. But if you do need to have sex, wear a mask. Wear a mask during sex. What? 
And then they said, get creative with your, with your sexual position. Oh, my Wi-Fi isn't working. This is, this is on road. This is unhinged. If my managers are listening to this and they're like, Nicole, you need to take this down. I'm not doing it, okay? I'm not. <laughs> I love you both, don't yell at me. It was supposed to be my senior year, okay? It was supposed to be my senior year. I have not had much fun in college the past few years, okay? Like, fun, okay? I have not had much fun, all right? I was open to having fun this year, you know? I was open to experiencing things and having fun. Next month I turn 21, ladies. 21, two, one. It was supposed to be no laws when there's white claws. And now there's about to be no laws when there's white claws in my bedroom alone when I turn 21. Like it's over in December. Like for me it's over. I'm never going back to school again because I hate school. I'm just being honest. I saw all of these YouTubers hanging out. Some of these people I really looked up to. Some of these TikTokers I really, really enjoyed. Charlie D'Amelio, I love her. I think she's an angel. I think she's a sweetheart. Very nice girl. She does not deserve the hate. But why are you hanging out with so many people? All of them. All of them, all of them, all of them. Don't get me started on this Sway House boys. They got their water and their electricity cut off and everything. And they're like, it's okay, we're just gonna move out. You all look the same. You all look the same. All of you are clones of each other and you are all assholes. You are all assholes. You're making it worse. LA is literally up in flames. You wanna know something like really funny and crazy that you might not know before. Um, I was supposed to be in LA this summer. That's like that Madison beer thing. Like, I don't really like to tell people, but <laughs> I was supposed to be in the video. I was supposed to be in the video. Um, uh, that's me. Um, I was supposed to have this nice little fun little job slash internship. I was supposed to be out with my managers. I was supposed to be doing big girl YouTuber things. Maybe, maybe meeting people. And I didn't have any of it. And like, I'm really happy with the way that it all turned out because clearly the universe wanted me to be home. The universe said that I needed to be home. I should be helping my mom. You know, everything is the way that it's supposed to be. I am upset and I would just like to say that um, if you're a content creator and if you need to hang out with other people in order for your content to be good, then your content just isn't that good, you know? This is coming from someone who only likes to film alone. I refuse to film with other people. That's because I've had bad experiences. And I would just like to tell you that all of your favorite YouTubers were like, oh my god, stay home, stay safe, I, I'm staying safe and everything. A lot of them are lying to you, okay? A lot of them are going out. All I'm trying to say is that you don't really know anyone on the internet, okay? I think that there should be um, a halt to idolizing creators, genuinely. And I'm saying this as a creator. I think that there should be a halt to idolizing them because let me tell you, oh my god, my heart rate is up. My resting heart rate... My watch has told me that it is up. All of these content creators, all of these YouTubers who you idolize, you don't know who they are in real life behind the scenes. And this is coming from a content creator. I literally just told you, I told the camera that sometimes I don't actually act like myself on camera. Like it is me, but it's a version of me. Like I don't act like that always in real life because I do have to put on like a performance, a show. Like I don't talk consecutively in real life for like 10 to 20 minutes at a time. Like obviously I'm gonna be a little bit different. I can pause things, I can like edit things out and whatever, but this is like how I would talk to a friend. This is not to say I'm fake in my other videos, but it's not 100% like authentic me how you would meet me in real life. So you should all know that some of these people online are not who they are in real life. I mean, that's like basic knowledge, but like kind of not at the same time. Like I used to idolize so many YouTubers and so many celebrities and everything. And I still do cough, cough, Julian Casablancas. I still idolize them and everything. These people could literally be supporting Black Lives Matter one minute and then, and then they, and then they stop. It's like, oh my god, it's like, it's a trend to them. And then they could claim that they care about coronavirus and everything, but then they hang out with friends, and then they travel to LA, and then they go to parties, and then they're like, no, 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 but we were safe, and now I'm quarantined, and then I got tested. As if you couldn't have potentially gotten others sick, and potentially got someone sick, or killed them. Ah, oh, it makes me pissed. It makes me so angry. And then they have the audacity to be rude to their audience, or delete comments when they're calling them out. You're putting people at risk. Oh, it makes me so mad. Because you're showing your audience that it's okay. Well, look, it's okay that I fly out to LA and I go to parties and I hang out and everything. Okay, so now your audience thinks it's cool too. Ugh. I just wanted to let you know, if you plan on going to college, your school is gonna get shut down. I'm just telling you, this is not to put you in a bad mood or anything. Literally, my boyfriend's school just got shut down this last Wednesday. They were literally open for a week and a half. 
my school starts Monday. I am betting on a week and one day. Penn State freshmen literally had a party like the night of moving. I'm just very sick and tired of being scared to go to the grocery store because my mom is battling cancer and she's kicking its ass and stuff, but that doesn't mean that I can go out because she's still immunocompromised. And I guess I could technically be considered immunocompromised as well because I have pretty bad asthma. Don't quote me on that though. I don't, I can't wait for Christmas quarantine content. I was supposed to be seeing Cody Ko and Noelle Miller this fall. I'm now no longer seeing Cody Ko and Noelle Miller this fall. Anyway, if you're not following social distancing, comment down below if it's worth it. Yeah, let me know. I have Doja Cat's song stuck in my head all day because she makes me feel safer. I like to be pretty positive most of the time. I don't like to spew negative energy on the internet. I just feel like that's stupid. Not to mention, <laughs> My last video was a video about uh, manifestation and the law of attraction and how it's worked for me and how, you know, I really just am a spiritual person. I'm not a religious person and everything. And oh my God, I've got quite a few comments that were like, you are opening the portal to hell. This is literally demonic. This is not okay. Use your following for good, Nicole. Well, if I'm going to hell, and all of you are going to hell who use the law of attraction, see you there. All of you who are also not social distancing, see you in hell too. Guess we're all going to hell. We are all partying in hell. If you guys want a demonic manifesting routine, just let me know. I will happily do that. I do hate going on TikTok now though, because I see all these people going out and they're the same people who are like preaching it before and then now they're not getting called out because like they're the, they're the, the queens and kings of alt TikTok. I am on alt TikTok, just to clarify, I'm not on straight TikTok. A lot of people also ask if I listen to Girl in Red or Sweater Weather. That is an answer for me to know and for you to you probably not find out, so. I'm currently my hand's in the UV light right now. I bought this like little mini UV light. Someone's probably gonna comment that it's demonic as well. If you're one of like the content creators, <laughs> I hate using that word too, ugh. If you're one of the bitches, <laughs> if you're one of the ladies, if you were one of the, I guess I could call them people. You know, if you were one of the people who actually are hanging out and you know, not doing anything right right now and you're just like causing us all to continue to suffer and you feel like you're exempt from all of the guidelines and from the rules because you're you and you have a following and it's okay. If you're feeling attacked from this video, that's okay. I probably wouldn't want to be your friend anyway. <laughs> I, I like my few internet friends that I've made thus far, like all three of them. I'm just sad more than anything. And then also hearing that a lot of you guys got COVID and you were following like all of the precautions and everything and you still got sick and that you're all like still facing the consequences and you still have like chronic problems to this day. There's a literal nap flying around my face. I took a nap yesterday because I was exhausted. That's how you know I'm exhausted. I don't like naps. I am a nap and I'm an anti-napper. I took this nap and then I woke up and I, like something was on my nose. I was like, what the fuck? And this morning I blew my nose. Lo and behold, there was a little, there was a little plant um, fly in my nose. So I hate that. And to hear that some of you are still sick, I wish you guys all like a very speedy recovery. If you or your family have been affected by, what's the, what's the one commercial? If you or your family have been affected by mesothelioma, Mesopotamia. If you or your family or friends or someone that you know has been affected by COVID, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I wish that people weren't such assholes. Please stop being an asshole, all of you. Please stop hanging out with all of your friends. I'm sad you guys didn't even get to see like the final product of my nails, but I don't know if I have even anything else to say. This was just a very big rant, but to be honest, I'm, I'm feeling better. I'm feeling unhinged. <laughs> if you plan on defending one of your favorite creators in the comments down below, talk with someone, get help. You don't have to simp over your favorite creator. I promise you, they're betraying you <laughs> behind your back. Anyway, I hope that you enjoyed this video. Maybe if you are one of the people who has been hanging out, fuck you. If you're from my hometown and you're hanging out all the time, even though you know that cases are not good here, fuck you. Tell me this and that, the third, that. Why don't you say so? I hope you liked this video, and if you did, um, you can definitely give it a like because it helps me out so much. You can also comment down below if it was worth it. If you hung out with people, if you are being an asshole and putting us all at risk of potentially being in a longer quarantine, was it worth it? Just, just asking for a friend. Hope that you're all staying safe and staying healthy and everything. It's my nails. Wow, so colorful. Make sure you subscribe if you want to be nasty. I forgot my own outro. Make sure, make sure, make sure, make sure subscribe if you want to be nasty. And if not, make sure subscribe if you.
what the fuck? My brain? Is it okay? Uh, make sure make sure to subscribe if you want to be nasty. And if not, you're disgusting. Also, make sure I have your bell notifications. Also, you know, every single time I post or else you are <gasps> gross. If you like this kind of content from me, let me know. Because maybe Nikki Nasty will become more unhinged more often. If you want to follow me on my other social media, like Instagram, Twitter, Depop, Spotify. It's just at Nicole Raffi, where I'm very active. Also, make sure to follow me on TikTok at Nikki Nasty. I'm going to go now, cry to Doja Cat, and contemplate if I even want to upload this video. To be honest. I'm gonna upload it. Goodbye.